Hello there, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. In today's video, I'm going to be cleaning up my home and then I'm also going to be steaming my DIY flower sack curtains that you see in front of my window um, over top of my sink. So I was really excited to get that done because whenever I hung them up, um, they really needed to be ironed, but I just sort of hung them up in hopes that the uh, wrinkles would fall out, but it didn't. So in this video, I'm gonna be fixing that. But first what we're gonna do is clean up my kitchen. I need to do the dishes and get my countertops wiped down. Now that the dishwasher is all cleaned out and all the dishes are put away where they go, I need to clean out my sink and load my dishwasher. Um, I get comments all the time about how I pre-wash my dishes before I put them in the dishwasher. And honestly, I don't really pre-wash them. I just scrub them down to get all the dried on food off before I put them in the dishwasher. Dishes are now loaded into the dishwasher, so now I need to wash this pan and a couple of my cookie sheets um, that can't go in the dishwasher, so I'm going to wash these by hand and set them aside to let them dry. As I was doing the dishes, I noticed that my soap dispenser was running low. It was hard to get any soap out of it, so I decided to just take my big jug of Dawn. I get this at Costco, and I'm going to fill that up. Don't say we're drifting apart, I can't stand to see you with another. Now 
Now that all the dishes are done, it is time to start steaming my flower sack curtains that I put up about a month ago. So I want to thank High Life for sponsoring today's video. Their garment steamer has 90,000 reviews, 1,500 orders per day, and is an Amazon bestseller. This 700 watt steamer generates gentle, long lasting steam and has a nine foot power cord so you'll never have to worry about operating it remotely and you can iron clothes from a distance. It's also safe to use with an automatic shut off feature. It is portable and lightweight making it an ideal travel companion. It, this travel steamer is compact enough to fit any suitcase or carry on luggage. This steamer has a water holding capacity of 240 milliliters and can provide up to 15 minutes of continuous steaming to eliminate wrinkles flawlessly. The large tank takes only 20 seconds to heat up. This garment steamer can be used on a wide range of fabrics such as silk, wool, cotton, linen, and nylon. Um, it can be used on clothes, curtains, and bedding. I have needed to get these wrinkles out of my curtains for so long and this worked perfectly. Y'all saw me create these DIY flower sack curtains about a month ago and I have needed to get the wrinkles out ever since. Um, my family and I will also be traveling um, pretty soon and I really wanted to get a garment steamer to put in my suitcase so I will be taking this with me. Um, I am so impressed with the quality of this and I cannot wait to use it more around my home. High Life's information is linked in the description box below. I have put the link to this garment steamer down there um, so definitely go and check them out. Once I was done steaming my curtains, I was so happy with the way that they turned out. Um, I think they look so pretty now, they're wrinkle free, but once you are done, you can turn it off. Be careful because the water inside the tank will still be steaming, as you can see here. Uh, but just unplug it, set it aside, let it cool down, and then you can dump the water out of it and let it dry out before putting it away. Now it is time to move on to the rest of my home. I'm gonna finish cleaning up my kitchen and then make my way on into the living room. So this giant pink and purple mat is a gymnastics mat 
Both of my girls are in gymnastics now and they love practicing and jumping around on it. Um, and it is just so sweet to watch them play together on it. So um, that is normally out in my living room now taking up all of the floor space, but that is quite okay. I don't mind. Um, I just like to pick it up to be able to vacuum under it. Um, so I just picked it up and put it basically in front of my front door because I knew my kids were gonna be getting it out again. But now I'm gonna take the time to fold my blankets. Normally I just get them and throw them over the corner of the couch, uh, but I'm trying to get better about it. Um, so I had some jackets on the couch to put away and now I'm gonna get my pillows all organized. Moving on in to my dining room. This is my little desk area where I keep my computer and my filming equipment. And you can also see the seeds that I have started indoors. Um, and I'm so excited to tell you that um, they are sprouting. Um, my daughter and I planted some of those um, the other day, but that's coming up in a vlog. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, I had a lot of fun filming that video, but anyway, that's what's on my desk in front of the window to get some light. Um, now I just picked up my kiddos little Peppa chairs um, and now I'm going to vacuum my living room. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed cause baby I got you. to live cause some people never learn but they're not gonna not gonna watch me burn cause baby i got you 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 it's a new beginning and a better life it's a dancing underneath the disco lights they can try but they can never take me down cause i'm not afraid i'm not Okay, so I just tried to film this voiceover a couple times, but I don't really know how to word this question. So for me, vacuuming is the one chore that helps me feel like my house is super clean. Um, it's like the final step in the process of cleaning up my home. Um, so my question for you is, what is the one chore that makes you feel like your house is super clean? Um, I'm just curious to see what other people do. I think it's really interesting. Now it is time to fold some towels in this random basket of laundry. Um, there was a couple of my husband's pieces of clothing that I need to fold in here as well. Um, so I'm just gonna take my time and fold this basket of laundry. The very last thing on my to-do list this day was to pick up my younger daughter's room. My older daughter's room has stayed cleaned for about two weeks. Um, a couple weeks ago I went in and I reorganized her room and fixed it all up for her. Um, she doesn't like her room shown on camera so I respect that and I don't show her room. That's why you guys didn't get to see it. Um, but 
like I said, I'm super proud of her for taking care of her room and putting things away where they go and just making sure it stays organized. Um, so I needed to come into my younger daughter's room and pick it up for her. She's not old enough to do it by herself yet. So um, I had to get that taken care of. <laughs> this hula hoop fell off the door and <laughs> it just made me chuckle just now. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna get these toys picked up and put away. But that pretty much does it for this video. I want to say thank you to High Life once again for sponsoring this video. Uh, make sure to go check them out. All of the information is linked in the description box below. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and taking your time out of your day. Um, your support truly means so much to me. I will see you in my next one.